Grilled bratwurst with peach salsa Full of flavor that make you mumba Oh, make you mumba, mumba Grilled bratwurst My loves, hello and welcome into my kitchen My name is Gabrielle Reyes Y'all know me as one great vegan, one great vegan, one great vegan, and hopefully y'all are feeling like one great vegan today. Ooh, I got a lot of spit in my mouth today, y'all. I was singing all those songs and I'm also salivating because, y'all, this recipe we're about to make, this grilled bratwurst with peach salsa, not only is it fresh and packed full of protein, try to say that 10 times fast, packed full of protein, packed full of protein, packed full of protein, packed full of protein. So it's a protein packed recipe we got going on here, as well as, mm -hmm, we have a no honey mustard glaze that we're gonna be adding into our sausage to infuse it with even more flavor, adding in some onions, adding in some purple cabbage, because y'all know I gotta add purple into everything I make. So y'all, y'all best believe we getting down, we going, we growing, we glowing, but first thing we gotta do, y'all, y'all know, know what we gotta do, right? Y'all don't act like we don't know. We gotta wash our hands, y'all. We gotta go wash our hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands, 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 my loves. I'm getting my nice and soapy and sudsy. That way, because we're going to get our hands involved in this recipe, my loves. Okay, so get your hands nice and dry. Get yourself a nice pan. We're going to be grilling up our sausages, our onion, and our butter, and then put on that glaze in here as well. So get yourself a pan that's going to get all of that goodness inside of here. And like I said, if you are just tuning in today, my loves, we are making grilled bratwurst with peach salsa full of flavor. The gonna make you dance, make you groove, make your taste buds dance for sure and also get you singing, moving, grooving and doing what you do in the kitchen. The sausage you're gonna be using today my loves is Light Life. Light Life plant-based sausage. I've been using their sausage for this recipe. It's also really good for breakfast as well so we're gonna be using that, getting it in that nice glazy sauce as well. If you don't have a plant-based sausage at home or if you don't feel like buying plant-based sausage, that's okay and that's all right. You can make a falafel sausage if you want to. Use my fierce falafel recipe that's in my free ebook on my website, onegreatvegan.com. You'll be able to find my fierce falafel recipe and you don't have to make them into balls. Instead, you can make them into sausage shot, sausage shaped falafels. We're gonna make that another tongue twister. Sausage shaped falafels. Sausage shaped falafels. Sausage shaped, sausage shaped, sausage shaped falafel. So you can make a sausage shaped falafel or you can use a carrot dog, whatever kind of recipe you want to. But the basic premise of it is we're gonna be making a bratwurst. So give it that nice sausage feel and then that nice fresh salsa on top. Ooh, so many tongue twisters today, y'all. So stay tuned for that. If you're into tongue twisters, this is the cooking class for you, I guess. All right, so first thing we gotta do, y'all, y'all know how I always go in with my food and I always start off with my onions and what vegan butter or oil or aquafaba. For this recipe, you can use any of those three things I just mentioned. I'm gonna be using vegan butter. This is Flora vegan, but vegan butter and it smells Oh, y'all, it smells just like butter. It's so delicious. Flora butter, flora butter. They have, mm, they sent me over these delicious butter. They have salted and unsalted, and I've been using it literally on everything. Bagels, sandwiches, this recipe. I just 
grill everything now in this butter because it tastes just like butter, but it's good for your body. So I'm not mad at it. For this recipe, start off with about two tablespoons of butter. Like I said, if you don't feel like going down the vegan butter route, that's okay. You can use aquafaba, which is chickpea juice, chickpea water, or you can use veggie broth, or you can use like an herb seasoned water. Honestly, it doesn't matter. But I would say something that has a little bit of salt, something that has a little bit of fattiness in there. Grapeseed oil, aquafaba, um, I already said aquafaba, but mm, avocado oil. That's the other one I was thinking about. Use avocado oil, whatever kind of oil you like, sunflower oil, it doesn't matter. What matters is it's got that little bit of saltiness in there, it's got a little bit of fattiness, and it's gonna help cook our onions down. All right, and what I have here are some white onions chopped up into nice little thin slivers. Let me show y'all. So if you're at home cooking along, make sure this part of your onion, the red onions are gonna be dicing it up, and then the white onions right here, we're gonna be using them as nice little slivers. And the butter I'm using today is salted butter. So I'm gonna be adding in just a little bit of salt into this recipe, but what's fierce is because the sausage is already salted as well as the butter, you don't need to go crazy with the salt. You can kind of just play around uh, salt and pepper to taste. Salt and pepper to taste, however you like. So whatever you want can go on in this. I'm gonna, as you can see, our butter is already melting down. So let me get those onions in there and let's cook these onions down. Cooking is easy and fun when you sing. Onions and vegan butter can make anything. Cooking is easy and fun when you sing. Onions and vegan butter can make anything. Onions and vegan butter can make anything. Onions and vegan butter can make anything. They can make anything. <laughs> they get their own song, their own intro, their own situation. Because seriously, if you are new to cooking vegan food, onions and oil, onions and vegan butter, onions and aquafaba, you can truly cook them to be anything. You can make them a Latin dish, you can make an Italian dish, you can make a Haitian dish, uh, Mexican, it, it, American, classic American, doesn't matter, German, onions and oil, garlic and oil, those are going to be the two key important parts into making sure that your food is really well seasoned. So like I said, we are cooking down our onions and our butter, and as it's getting nice and hot, my loves, let's move on into making our no honey mustard dressing, dressing, no honey mustard dressing, dressing. Let us make our no honey mustard dressing or glaze or sauce or honestly, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. All I know is it's delicious and it's really easy to make. So I have some mustard right here, and honestly, you can kind of play around with however much you want to add into this. If you don't like that much mustard, I mean, most of this recipe for this no honey mustard is gonna be mustard. So if you don't like mustard, maybe skip out on this, but I would do like the maple and the hot sauce. I would still put that on the sausage just to make it taste really good. So let's do about one third of a cup of some mustard. And honestly, we're gonna be using this as a dipping sauce too. So we're gonna be making a pretty good batch. And the other thing that's fierce about this no honey mustard dressing, sometimes I'll add in a little bit more vinegar, some apple cider vinegar in there, and it's a really, really delicious dressing for your salads, or if you wanna put it, like dip some crackers in it or dip some like pita bread, it's so delicious. All right, so of course we're not using honey because honey ain't vegan, honey comes from bees. And so, since we're not trying to do that today, we're gonna to be using maple syrup. Y'all know I use maple syrup in, in like all my recipes, especially if you're making anything that's already has like a nice meaty texture. I found that it's really good to balance it out with a little bit of sweetness, which is why we got that little peach salsa going on, but we also got a little bit of sweetness in this no honey mustard. So let's add in about one fourth of a cup of our maple syrup. If you can't go heavy in on your maple syrup, that's okay. No one's gonna judge you. And then for a little bit of spice and something nice, oh, I just sprayed it everywhere. That's all good. I'm gonna be adding in a few squirts, about two teaspoons of my hot sauce. This is just gonna be adding in more depth of flavor. I mean, who doesn't like something spicy, something sweet, something savory? 
I like all of those flavors mixed together. And then the other thing, you don't need to add in any salt to your no honey mustard dressing. Add in some black pepper. If you feel like it needs a little bit of salt, go forth, do what you gotta do. But for me, because the sausage already has that saltiness in that, I'm gonna be just using some pepper for this. So add in about one to two, I would say one to one and a half tablespoons of pepper. I like my no honey mustard pretty peppery just because, I don't know, it just gives it, breaks up the sweetness, breaks up that mustard, that tanginess from the mustard, and it really just brings out all the flavor. So now that we have everything in our bowl and our onions and our vegan butter are cooking down back there, I'm just gonna whisk this up and create our no honey mustard dressing. Whisk it up, whisk it up, whisk that no honey mustard dressing. Whisk it up, whoa, whisk that dressing up. Ooh, there she is. I might add in a little bit more pepper, y'all. Let me get a taste. Let's see how she's doing. Ooh, she is good. I'm gonna add in a little bit. Ooh, and she got a little spice to her too. I'm actually gonna add in just a little bit more of my mustard and then i'm going to add in more pepper too there's a lot of sweetness in there which is so delicious but i think i'm going to add in just to balance it all out i already know there's some sweetness in that peach you know so we don't gotta get too sweet i know i do like to go in with my maple syrup but make sure it's just balanced whenever you're making the no honey mustard you want it to taste like you know honey mustard <laughs> So I'm adding in some more pepper. Like I said, one to one and a half tablespoons is what I like personally, just because I like that. I like all those little pieces of pepper that, that there's like a spiciness to pepper that breaks up the sweetness and then also breaks up that tanginess from the mustard I was chit chatting about. All right, in goes our pepper, boom. And you can also use like bigger pieces of pepper too you want to honestly it's whatever feels good and whatever you got in your house as well so let's whisk this up and then we're gonna check in in our onions and start grilling our bratwurst my loves all right our no honey mustard is ready to go looks like our onions are getting cooked down perfectly so what I have here is that plant-based sausage and a lot of people ask me what are these things made out of well I'll tell y'all what it's made out of pea protein it says canola oil it has tapioca starch, salt and citrus fiber, faba bean protein, brown rice protein, beet powder. All right, I'm gonna stop singing them because there's just a lot of them. All right, it also has some nutritional yeast, it has some lemon peel, smoked sugar, and then I think, yeah, it has gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free, and vegan. And we are about to cook it up. I was about to put it back into its box. Ah, you coming with me, girl. Come on over. And I'm going to be grilling all four of these because Ace and I, he'll probably eat three. <laughs> and I'll eat one of them. And so that's just the balance of life, y'all. All right, so in goes our sausage. Ooh, you can already hear it starting to grill on up. Look at that. And I really, the color of these sausages is honestly crazy, y'all. Look at this. It looks like, this is like what a pork sausage looks like, but there's no, no animal was hurt or harmed in the making of this delicious sausage we're gonna dig on into, my loves. So check it out. I want y'all to get a nice up close and personal view of this sausage. It has a nice casing around it too. So just put it all in your pan. And I like to cook these with the onions because I mean adding more flavor more spice more everything nice so we're gonna get this cooked on down and then as they start to get nice and brown we're actually going to wait to put the no honey mustard dressing on until they have like a little bit of some cook on them so we don't want it just on the uncooked part of the sausage we want to make sure there's a little bit of some grill on there and if you're grilling these at home in like you know an outdoor grill They'll go a lot faster, obviously. You just put it on the grill, wait until you see the markings on it, and then add on your no honey mustard with your little brush. Look at this, y'all. I got myself a little silicone brush, and that's what we're going to use to paint it on. A little painting session of our, for ourselves. All right, so there goes our no honey mustard. Let me get a little taste of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. That pepper. 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 Hey, Pepper. 
some red bell pepper and then dice up about half of a bell pepper and then I'm gonna be using all of my peach today mm, for this recipe oh y'all I'm also gonna get a bite of this peach she is ripe and ready girl all right Ooh, let's look at this peach so beautiful oh y'all look at this this is what earth has provided for us look at this magnus mag magnificent creation we see in store this is fruit mm. Mm. and she's so ripe and she's gonna be so delicious so make sure to get out the pit get that out and i'm just gonna make sure that this is chopped up into nice tiny pieces doesn't have to be perfect but what i'm gonna do is just dice up all of this so what i've done is i will show you my loves i've just chopped it up horizontally or vertically just like this this went up and down and then next i'm gonna go horizontally sometimes i get those mixed up vertical horizontal vertical horizontal so vertically is the first way that i chop my peach and then i'm gonna go horizontal against it to get into nice dice pieces all right let's go in let's chop the peach So this ain't nothing fancy we make in here today. And also there's gonna be so many other vibrant colors in there mixing together. But you just wanna make sure that these pieces are nice and tiny so that they don't overshadow the other pieces of the red onion and the red bell pepper as well as the jalapeno we're gonna add in there too. All right, so this is half of my peach going in my bowl right here. And then I'm gonna chop up the other half of the peach. But before I do that, let's check in and see how our bratwurst is doing. All right, oh yeah, she's getting some nice brown on her. Perfect. So I'm just gonna flip these pieces around to make sure that they all get some of that good cook on them. And these onions are infusing their delicious, wonderful flavor into these pieces of vegan sausage as well. So once it's brown on both sides, it doesn't have to be brown all the way around, but I like to brown it on both sides and then we're gonna add on that no honey mustard sauce. All right, so let's chop up the rest of this peach. I'm cutting it vertically, just like this into nice pieces. And then I also like using a knife that has some serrated, like a serrated knife, has some texture on it. It just breaks through the skin of the peach a lot easier. So there's a little tip for y'all. But like I said, if you use what you got. If you got a butter knife, I mean, I, I suggest investing in like a knife that at least got some got some kick to it, you know what I'm saying? A knife that can take care of business. Um, you can buy a knife, a decent knife. I mean, honestly, I don't even use fancy knives. I don't use like, you know, Japanese or German metal or anything like that. I literally use like a Target knife <laughs> that I got in like a Target set. And then I think my mom gave me a knife for Christmas last year that I've been using as well. So nothing fancy, y'all. We just using what works, what we got, what we can afford at the time. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I got my peach in my bowl. And then like I said, the other things you have are some red onion. Add in about one fourth cup of your red onion. Ooh, there she goes into our bowl. And then you're gonna add in some red bell pepper as well. Add in one fourth. I would say make everything equal. 
except I would add in more peach because it's a peach salsa. So that's what we kind of try to focus all that main energy towards is that peachiness in the peach salsa. So like I said, I got my peach in there, got my red onion and my red bell pepper, and now jalapeno. I diced up my jalapeno. I did this earlier with gloves on. I suggest doing that if you're ever handling jalapeno or ever handling scotch bonnet pepper as well. Honestly, any hot pepper. Use some gloves. It'll make your life a lot easier. All right, so let's check in on our sausage. See how she's doing. She looks like she's browning up beautifully. My love, look at this. Doesn't this look? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. We go in there and all that butter too. Oh yes. Yeah, she is browning beautifully. I'm gonna show y'all so you can get an up close and personal look at this beautiful sausage we got cooking up in here. Look at that, look at that. Yeah. Mm, she is delicious and now we're gonna add on that no honey mustard glaze sauce goodness that's gonna go on there so like I said grab yourself a little brush if you have one if you don't that's okay don't worry about it you grab yourself a fork and that works as well so I'm just gonna paint this on literally that's actually what I'm doing I'm just painting on my no honey mustard sauce that we made, just letting it all soak in there. And then I'm gonna turn these pieces around and just make sure that all sides get some of that glaze on there. So let's turn this around with our little tongs right here. Mm, yeah, and that no honey mustard sauce is gonna cook into those onions as well. So everything's just gonna get some of that good, good flavor in there, infused in deliciousness. All right, paint it on. Grilled broadwurst with peach salsa, full of flavor. The make you mamba. Peach salsa. Whoa, grilled broadwurst. Woo! All right, my loves. So these are gonna be cooking down for a little bit. They look beautiful. And while we're doing that, let us work on the rest of our salsa. So the things I have here today, I wanna show y'all. I got myself an orange, I got myself a lime, and we're gonna be using these two citruses to basically just mm, bring life, vibrancy, fragrance, fierceness into our salsa. So the first thing, let's get some zest from our orange, and we're gonna get some lime juice from our lime, and we're also gonna get some juice from our orange as well. But first things first, I actually, I've already started to zest this one. So let me use this one right here. And you're just gonna zest straight into your bowl. Grab yourself a zester. Hopefully you got one. If you don't, that's okay. If you don't have a zester, honestly, you can just skip out on the orange zest. But I would invest in a zester. It just, I like adding orange zest, lemon zest, lime zest, orange zest, lemon zest, lime zest, whoa, orange, lemon, lime zest. I like adding all of those kinds of zesty flavors into my savory meals a lot of times, especially around the holidays. Y'all know we're getting around to Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas times. So I like just, you know, infusing different things to make them different, make them unique, make them vibrant, and also obviously make them good for your body and healthy. Nourished, my loves. I want y'all to be nourished. So there is our orange zest, about one tablespoon. Yeah, I'm gonna start making that a thing, a tablespoon. One tablespoon of your orange zest, and then let's add in that orange juice in there. Ooh, I'm gonna let y'all see this beautiful orange drip. Drip, baby, drip. Orange juice, drip, baby, drip. Orange juice. All right, this is gonna be nice and juicy. Ooh, so good. All right. So we got our juice, and then the next thing we need is that lime juice as well. I like using both just because I like a classic salsa to have lime in it, you know what I'm saying? But the orange just brings out the, uh, the peach in there and just makes it, you know, gives it more dynamic flavor, my loves. So here's our lime. Boom, beautiful as all. Get up. And then, my loves, let me just give this a nice squeeze on in. Sometimes limes are a little harder to squeeze. 
Then oranges. I think it's because they're so small. There we go. Getting a little bit of lime juice out of there. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yes, come on, come on. Get that lime juice. All right, we got our lime juice in here. Look at this vibrant color, y'all. I always love, if I'm gonna be making something that's meaty or hearty or is like a processed vegan meat, I like to always balance it out, make sure that whatever else I got, got some greenery, got some color, got some rainbow tasticness going on. So there we go, in goes mm, our fresh lime juice, fresh orange juice. And now all we gotta do is add in a splash of some salt and then we're gonna mix it up and we're done. We'll, we'll probably be ready to feast pretty soon. Okay, so here is our salsa. And then I said, oh, a little bit of salt. I would say no more than a teaspoon of salt. I would say even half a teaspoon is fine. Boom. And she goes, this is just to not only bring out even more of that citrusy flavor, it just adds in. Y'all know how I'm going. I always add in just levels on levels on levels on levels of flavor. So give this a good mixture. Make sure all that orange zest gets onto all those pieces. And oh my gosh, y'all, you can smell this. I hope y'all can smell what I got going on here because she smells fierce. And those pieces of jalapeno, jalapeno. Those pieces of jalapeno are really going to just shine in this spicy situation. So check it out, my loves. Look at this wonderful, delicious salsa we made. Mm, so fresh. So fresh. All right, so we're gonna use that later. We throw away these, or actually we could use these for some celery juice later. So haha, -ha, I'm gonna use that. And the other thing I have here, my loves, is some chopped up purple cabbage. We're gonna use this as well in our thing. And then we're gonna be buttering up our bread with some vegan butter. So what I've done is I've actually turned my oven on to 400 degrees. And I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for a little bit to get it nice and crispy. And this is gluten-free bread. This is made, I believe, by a German company. Ooh, okay, all right, all right. Ooh, yeah, oh, y'all, this sausage is looking beautiful. These onions are cooking. This, oh, the no honey mustard sauce. Yes, all right. So we're just gonna let this keep cooking down until our bread is ready to go. But I wanna show y'all, look at this. Look at this wonderful sausage. I don't know if y'all see this one right here. Ooh, we got a nice grill going on that sausage right there. So I'm gonna let these cook on all sides. Make sure it gets nice and hot in there, especially with that onion. All right, so for the rest of your sauce, what I have here is just a little container. And I'm just gonna pour the rest of my sauce in here because sometimes I like to use the no honey mustard as like a dipping sauce for this. So in goes our no honey mustard. In goes our no honey mustard. All right, there she is. Oh. Y'all, this is so delicious. This is like truly gold. Mm, I could just drink it. Mm -mm -mm. Woo, all right. So there we go, that's ready. And the other thing I would suggest y'all get are actually these long picks right here, if you need to. If you don't need these, this is what I found I needed to use for my bratwurst to keep them together, all three of them together. These are like, baby, what are these? What would what, what would you say you would use these for, other than what I use them for? Skewers? For, uh, no, um. Uh, yeah, you, I guess that you could use this for kebabs. I feel like they're a little thin for kebabs. Personally, I feel like you need more hardiness to hold on to all those veggies. Um, ooh, kebab actually sounds so delicious. I may have to do that as a fun recipe soon, y'all. Mushrooms, oh, glaze in marinated jerk mushroom kebabs. Marinated jerk mushroom kebabs. Oh, that could be the next recipe coming up, y'all. Stay tuned. But anyways, I'm going to be using these today just to make sure that these things all stay together and look beautiful so that I can take a photo of it and then munch on it. So, all right, let's see how we doing with this. I got all my things. Oh, the other thing I wanted to tell y'all is 
Get yourself some green onion. I'm gonna be chopping a couple pieces of green onion. Y'all know I like to add on that little bit of freshness on top. So we're gonna add on, uh, we're gonna build our bratwurst and then we're gonna put on the salsa and then finish it off with some green onion as well. So there we go and there we glow. Let's see how this sausage is doing. Oh, she grit. Oh, yeah, she is grilling up. She is looking good. All right. I'm excited about these onions too. They're getting caramelized and beautiful and just. Yes. Dig on in. Grilled bratwurst with pink salsa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, my loves. I believe that our grilled bratwurst with our onions is ready to go. So let me see how our bread is doing. And then, my loves, we should be able to feast. Grab yourself your purple cabbage. Don't forget your salsa. Hopefully you have all of your ingredients ready to go. And then, like I said, get yourself some green onion. And then I'm going to be using some scissors to snip that green onion out. All right. Come on, Brittany. Oh, yes. She is oh, perfect. She's nice and hot. She's going to be crispy and delicious. Where did I put my knife? Y'all, this is the dance of 2020. Where did I put my knife? Oh, oh, oh. Where did I put my knife? Oh, oh, oh. Where did I put my knife? I'm just gonna grab another knife because that's the kind of life we're living today. All right, I'm gonna be chopping up my nice piece of warm bread into three equal pieces. So there we go, I'm gonna chop this up. Like I said, y'all, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is for backyard barbecue situation. This is just to make the people happy. Be like, oh, I didn't know this was vegan. Oh, what, what? People are gonna be shocked. They're not gonna even know. They're just gonna be like, I just ate it because it was fabulous and it looked beautiful. So I'm just chopping open, cutting open my piece of bread so that I can get my, ooh, that's gonna be so nice and hot. And I'm also gonna be adding in some butter to there too, my loves. Because y'all know I love vegan butter, vegan butter. All right, there goes another piece of bread. These are hot, 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 feeling hot, hot, hot. Actually, funny story about that song. Maybe y'all have heard it before. That was like in the 90s. Feeling on fire, feeling on fire, feeling hot, hot, hot. You've probably heard that song before. Anyways, if you haven't, that was my sister and I were signed up for a dance company in San Diego, California, and my sister and I had to be partner dance, had to do partner dancing on that song together, and I hated, I hated dancing with her because we would always just get into arguments about how she was like lifting me and stuff like that, but I do remember getting a really, really cute outfit out of that, out of the dance, but you must believe y'all, I had no idea what I was doing. I was like four years old, completely oblivious to what dance class even meant, so. All right, I am buttering up these beautiful pieces of my bread. Got my vegan butter in here, and it's just melting on down on these pieces of bread right here. Ooh, so delicious. All right, so like I said, I have my butter, and then I'm gonna add on some of my cabbage. Add on that nice, long, beautiful pieces. Y'all know I add purple into all of my recipes, just like this. Ooh. Some of these pieces of cabbage are a little too long for this, um, for the piece of bread, but that's all good, doesn't really matter. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, grab your cabbage, stuff it on into your bratwurst, just like this, perfect. And then y'all are gonna add in those grilled onions as well as that sausage, and then on goes our salsa, and then boom, we're ready to eat, my loves. It's gonna be so good. Grilled bratwurst with peach salsa. That was like a dark version of peach salsa. That's like the Halloween <laughs> version of the song. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I am excited about Halloween this year because I have so many fun recipes that I'm gonna be debuting in the next few months as well. All right, so let's add on our grilled onions. Ooh, yes, come on, grilled onions. Get in there. I am adding them into our pieces of bread. There we go, come on in. 
real gun gang. And if you want to, if you're at home and you don't feel like being the person who has to build all of this, you can like set this out, like put these in little bowls and you know, you can let your family build their own bratwurst. Build your own bratwurst. Whoa, build your own bratwurst. Whoa, build your own bratwurst. Build your own bratwurst. Whoa, build your own bratwurst. Whoa, build your own bratwurst. Whoa, build your own bratwurst. Build your own all right, so here is our sausage. She is done, she is ready. And in she goes to our piece of bread with our onions as well as our cabbage. And our butter too, who could forget the vegan butter? Oh, y'all, look at that. She is beautiful. All right, in she goes. Yes, girl. I love to see that grill on top. That's just me though, just because I like to see a little bit of that browning on there. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So it looks like it came right off the grill, you know what I'm saying? Actually, I'm gonna switch this one out because I want all three of them to get that good grill on it. Ooh, yes. Ooh, ooh, they're all falling over. Oh no, they're all falling out. This is why exactly why I had to use that little, those little sticks, my loves, because this exact reason, they're all gonna fall over. All right, so here we have our three. There, here we go, all built. I don't know what kind of hot dog buns y'all are using, but these ones need a little guidance is what I found. In fact, where are my little sticks? Here go my little sticks. And I'm just gonna poke these through, Ooh. poke it through all three of my sausages. That way I can put the salsa on with ease. All right, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Y'all, this is the challenge right here. All right, I am poking these through one sausage at a time with my little stick. All right, boom, into the first one it go. Boom, into the second one it goes. And then here we go, here we go. Sunday video, all right, oh, okay, perfect. All right, now I can show y'all. I can, don't have to like teeter this carefully. All right, check it out, my loves. There go our sausages with our onions and our cabbage. All right, let's keep building, let's keep going, let's keep glowing, my loves. All right, so like I said, we're not done yet. We gotta add on our salsa as well and then that green onion to my loves, and then we'll be ready to feast. All right, on goes our salsa. I'm gonna get a good mix of all of it on there. Ooh, yes, girl, pile it on there. If it falls off, just add it to the other, the next one, honestly, that's what I'm doing. It's like, oh, you're gonna fall off? All right, you go on to the next one. There you go. All right, I'll bring on all that color that vibrancy, that beautiful texture from all those different fruits on there. Y'all check it out, check it out. Whoa, oh. If y'all can't tell from my recipes, I really like salsas, like different kinds of fruit, fruity salsas. It's kind of my, it's my thing, it's what I like to do. All right, I'm gonna spread these out just a little bit more so that the salsa can kind of fall in between my pieces, just like that, all right? All right, let me get some more of this salsa, and then I wanna show y'all this beautiful dish we have made. Grilled broadwurst with peach salsa. Why can I not figure out what the note is? <laughs> Grilled broadwurst with peach salsa. There it is, I was like, in my head I said, girl, what is the note you are searching for? Grilled broadwurst, whoa, grilled broadwurst, whoa. beautiful salsa and then the next thing we're gonna do is add on some green onion all right so what I've done is I'm just gonna grab my green onion grab it nice and close together and then grab your scissors and then just chop it on over and it'll just fall delicately onto your hot dogs well these technically are bratwurst technically not called hot dogs but you can honestly call it whatever you want to. I call it sausage bratwurst vegan hot dog, I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter as long as it's made out of plants and good for your spirit and your soul. And it looks like my loves, I add on a few more pieces and I think we'll be done. I'm ready to feast, oh, all right. 
Grilled broad rice with peach salsa full of flavor that make you mumba. All right, my loves, I am coming. I'm gonna show y'all what we created today. Y'all look at this. Grilled broad rice. Whoa, this looks so delicious, baby. Look at it. Oh, just, just vibrant, just colorful and fabulous, y'all. These are so delicious, and I'm gonna have to get myself a little bite, okay? I'm gonna get myself a bite. Ooh, I, as I almost drop it all on the floor. That's great. All right, let's get a bite of our grilled bratwurst. Grilled bratwurst with peach salsa full of flavor that make you mamba. All right. Mmm. 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 I didn't get as much salsa as I want. I'm gonna have to get just a bite of the salsa too. <laughs> I'm gonna just have to, honestly. Mmm. But that no honey mustard dressing on that. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's so meaty <laughs> and this is so sweet and tangy, but yet it has that kick of that jalapeno. My loves. Whoa. This is so delicious, and guess what? We get to eat it all, and it's gluten-free, it's soy-free, it's nut-free, it's vegan. It's gluten-free, it's soy-free, it's nut-free, it's vegan. And it's gonna feed your spirit and your soul, and hopefully it gets to feed your family too, and hopefully no one knows it's vegan. And they're like, oh my gosh, I could eat this all day, every day, and you're like, ah, ha ha ha, made from plants, ha ha ha, that's the way of the future. What are we gonna do now, what? You could do that as well, my loves. But until then, my loves, check it out, check it out, check it out what we created today. Hopefully you cooked along with me to make yourself some grilled bratwurst with peach salsa. Grilled bratwurst with peach salsa, full of flavor that make you mamba, make you mamba. Ace and I are about to go on in, dig in. That's why I made another sausage for him. But I had so much fun cooking along with you all today, singing my song, doing my dance, and making some beautiful, colorful food. I will see you all next week here live at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, if you don't know what time that is for you, go on ahead and just look it up on Google or Bing. I don't know if people use Bing anymore. Is that still even a thing? Stay tuned, because I don't know. But either, either way, look up what 1 p.m. CST is within your region of the world, and hopefully you can tune in next week for a live musical cooking class. Like I said, I'm Gabrielle Reyes, one great vegan. And don't forget to sing your song, do your dance, and speak your truth. Goodbye, my love.